Today we are going to be talking about the Sony FDR X3000. Is it worth it? Hi, I'm Rebecca Meyer, and if you're new to this channel, first let me begin by welcoming you. We predominantly do tech reviews of gizmos and gadgets, so if that's something you enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that bell. Be sure to check out the description where I'll have all the links to all the awesome products that we'll be talking about today. So today I wanted to officially do a, uh, a review on the Sony FDR X3000. As a matter of fact, I'm using it right now. Now the reason why I haven't done it yet is because it is by far my most used camera. Considering I have a DSLR, a point and shoot, of course my cell phone, but by far my grab and go camera is going to be the Sony FDR X3000. So let's get into some of its features today. So I'm not going to talk a whole lot about the specs of this camera. Of course, that's easy to find either on the Sony page or you can Google it and pretty much anyone can tell you the specs. The FDR X3000 is extremely lightweight. It's just over four ounces. And uh, what that means for me is that I can throw it in a bag, carry it around, handhold it all day long, and my arms are not going to get fatigued. Now, I did previously have an Osmo um, and, you know, and a gimbal and... I just find those to be very fatiguing after long amounts of time. So particularly if you're traveling, um, this camera is just extremely lightweight. Of course it does 4K. Um, I do predominantly shoot in 4K, but I don't usually upload in 4K. The reason why I use the 4K footage is that I've found there's a lot less noise uh, when I go to punch in or zoom in on something that I, I want to focus on. What makes this little camera so great is that it's super easy to use. You can just push record and go. You do have options as far as like setting the white balance, setting uh, whether you want to do it in vivid so it'll like color code it for you or if you want to use a neutral setting that way you can color grade later on you do have those like simple options but it's not very complicated now as I mentioned before uh, when I do use 4k it's usually because I like to punch in however if you don't have an editing software that's capable of like zooming in or punching in or something like that you do actually have the option of uh, either using a, a narrow view a medium view or a wide view. The thing that I really like about this camera is that it has fantastic uh, audio. The microphone that is built in is really, really good. So I wanted to show you some outdoor footage uh, along with uh, the, the microphone being used outside um, when I am inside my house because I have such large space that uh, I, I do actually get a little bit of echo, but uh, I do think it's actually a little bit better outside. Now regarding the, the sound you might hear in the background, I'm uh, Delray Oaks is actually located in a very, very uh, commercial area. It's just a little hidden gem that's that's just off the side of the road. Um, so I just wanted to give you a, a little idea of what the microphone sounds like in addition to some background noise. Um, and I, I, I do think it's uh, pretty good, actually. However, you still have an option of actually hooking another microphone up to it, whether you want it to be like a zoom or maybe just a lavalier. You do have those options. But I'll be honest with you, when I'm out and about just running and gunning, the only thing I really want to use is just the, the onboard mic. Again, I like to keep things as simple as possible. Now, when you're purchasing the Sony FDR X3000, do you have the option of either buying it with or without the, the live uh, view remote? And I have to be honest with you, I think the remote is fantastic. You may have seen in, a, in another video, and I'll have it uh, linked above, you can use the live remote with other Sony cameras, which is fantastic because if I want to be able to get a good shot from far away, I'm able to use that by just using the, the live remote. By far and wide, uh, although the, the, the picture quality on this is fantastic, the thing that makes this camera so special is the uh, BOSS technology, which is the balance optical stabilization system. What that means is there's a floating lens actually inside the camera itself. So although it's not a gimbal, I believe it's about as gimbal-like as you can get on a camera. And I think it is absolutely fantastic. So I'm at Delray Oaks in uh, Delray. It's a really, really awesome place to go walking, although small, it is actually quite beautiful here. I wanted to show you the boss stabilization just to give you an idea of how amazing this, uh, this lens is.
So you can see just like walking even briskly with something like this, it's gonna work really, really well. So by far, this is the easiest uh, camera to walk with. I mean, it's this still, the whole thing, the whole setup is super light because I'm not adding on an additional microphone. So even as a handheld vlogging camera, this is absolutely fantastic. But of course, if you're going to be out and about in different countries, like I used this when I was in Peru, I was able to take some amazing footage and uh, not get fatigued throughout the day. As far as accessories, there's a bajillion of them. Um, there are adapters that will allow you to use GoPro accessories with the Sony FDRX3000. Um, so really, it, it just uh, sky's the limit as far as what you can use. Now, me personally, I had actually done a, a, a review on some of the different types of accessories you can use. You can see that link up here. Um, but now that I've had it for multiple, multiple, multiple months, what I realize is there are absolutely two accessories that I absolutely adore. One has got to be the uh, the Sony grip. Um, I think it is absolutely fantastic. I can pull out into a tripod. Uh, I can use it as a monopod. It's uh, it's really fantastic. The other one would be the protective lens cover, also by Sony. I can't tell you how many times I have dropped this camera. And when I say drop, I mean I have smashed it. I have smushed it. I have done everything evil that can be done to a camera and uh, it still works like new every time I open it up. Well that concludes my review of the Sony FDRX3000 and if you're interested in hearing more topics about tech and gizmos and gadgets make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell and let me know in the comments below what are you using as a vlogging camera. Hope to hear from you soon.